possible cover-up of a predatory crime at a chief's house. Plain dealer. According to the Associated Press, nearly all copies of the Oray County Plain Dealer, a small town Colorado newspaper, were stolen from newspaper racks. The same day, Plain Dealer published a story about sexual assault charges. Heinous charges were connected to allegations stemming from an underage drinking party that occurred at the police chief's house as the chief slept. That's explosive. Mike Wiggins, the owner and publisher of The Plain Dealer, vowed Thursday on X he'd get to the bottom of the theft, writing, quote, someone didn't like this edition of Oray County Plain Dealer. Guess which article? So they stole nearly every newspaper out of our racks in Oray County. If you hope to silence or intimidate us, you failed miserably. We'll find out who did this, and another press run is imminent. That's right. Not going to quit. Newspaper posted the story on social media and removed its website paywall so people could read about the felony sexual assault charges filed against three men, including a relative of the police chief, for actions that allegedly occurred at a May 2023 party in Oray, where drugs and alcohol were used, according to the court records. Suspects ages 17, 18, 19 at the time, and the person who reported the crimes was 17, records said. Associated Press with the details on this one. By Thursday evening, a garbage bag full of newspapers were returned to the plain dealer. Well, this seems organized. Additionally, supporters had donated about $2,000 to the paper, something Wiggins called extremely heartening and humbling. Wiggins believed the person who returned the newspapers was the person who took them. And the only person, only one person was involved in the theft. Wiggins declined to identify the person, but he reported the information to police. Officers also had surveillance video of some of the thefts, he said. I'm no detective, but I know what I'm smelling. Police identified a suspect who will be cited for the theft. The Oray County Sheriff's Office said in a statement posted on social media Friday, suspect is not a member or relative of local law enforcement, not associated with the defendants in the recent Reported sexual assault, statement said, adding that the Colorado Bureau of Investigation is investigating the sexual assault. Array Police Chief Jeff Wood. That's an interesting uniform. I don't quite know what to make of it. That's kind of a throwback. Okay. Chief Jeff Wood told CNN Monday the theft resulted in the appearance of a police cover up. I have no idea whether he intended to frame me or my department, Wood told CNN regarding the theft suspect, but the obvious result was the appearance of a police cover-up, an utterly incompetent one at that. The story had already appeared online. What could possibly be gained from stealing hard copies? CNN details there. Oh, gee. Okay, nice try. Uh, Wood said he was made aware of the allegations of an attack at his home approximately two months after the incident was alleged to have occurred. Would decline to comment further on the allegations. I anticipate being called as a witness at trial. So I feel it's not appropriate to comment on the plausibility of the young lady's allegations at this time. About 250 newspapers filled the racks Friday morning in Oray County, a mountainous area in southwestern Colorado that is home to about 5,000 people. If somebody was going to try to make it so the public couldn't read this story, we were going to make sure to counteract that, Wiggins said. The Oray County Plain Dealers published on Thursdays, delivered to racks late Wednesday. Subscribers received the paper in the mail. Now, the rack price for an issue of the paper is $1. The suspect spent $12 opening racks and removing all the papers, Wiggins said. However, they missed one rack at a coffee shop, so about 200 papers were stolen. Wiggins added he was glad the racks themselves weren't damaged. Newspapers Uh, Planning to have a story in next Thursday's edition about the theft of the papers and possibly a column explaining why they took it so seriously and reprinted the paper, Wiggins said. It's strange to be writing about ourselves, said Wiggins, who has owned and published the paper for nearly five years with his wife, Erin McIntyre. We work very hard to make sure we are not the story. The only time they had something similar happen was about three years ago when McIntyre wrote about a local campground that was flouting restrictions on lodging put in place because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Someone taped over the coin slot on the newspaper rack at the campground and covered the plexiglass window 
with a sign asking them to remove the wrath, he said. This is about the goofiest nonsense I've ever heard of. And I don't understand what, I mean, the statements by Mr. Wood about how this is somebody tried to frame the police department. I'm not following it, Mayor, because it, the breadcrumbs you left don't lead to the answer, okay? Listen, I'm giggling because, you know, this yeah. town is probably the size of Enfield, my town. And I literally, yeah. somebody dropped the ball. This is not somebody trying to frame the police department. <laughs> this is this somebody forgot that it was on the internet. Yeah. That darn internet got us. That darn internet. Like they they literally stole the papers, man. Like this is this is wild to me. And it seemed like something that could happen at home. That's why I was laughing so hard. Like small town, <laughs> if I could see people like, oh, I'm gonna just block everybody on Facebook so they can't see my yeah, you still forgot. <laughs> it happened. And this yeah. is absolutely this is absolutely ridiculous. I feel like, you know, this level of trying to uh block the press is next level of uh, uh, attack on freedom of speech, right? The idea that it's happened before about the COVID thing is exactly what they were trying to replicate. They, This newspaper literally told that story, hey, someone at the campground tried to block our story. The police department's like, you remember the time during COVID when somebody blocked the story about COVID? Let's use that strategy right now. Yep. yep. What in the world? Uh, this is scary. I I do hope they get to the bottom of this uh, sexual allegation story, though. Um, yeah. That me seems extremely uh, scanty. And they, we definitely need to keep mm -hmm. our eyes on this story because these people are capable of blocking. Yes. You know all about small town politics and this way of thinking that you you know the world's connected, right? Ever since Al Gore invented the internet, you know, like everybody can get in on this. It is a very serious thing. And the young lady, well, the person, the 17 year old who reported this, keep, keep, connected to the rest of the world so we know justice can be served here.